Hello and welcome back to All Kinds of Everything. Um, welcome to all the new subscribers. I am so, so pleased that you've joined me and all my other subscribers. It means the world to me, it really does. I know I've said it before, but it really does. Um, I hope that you can hear this. You should be able to, because I haven't put the mic on. <laughs> And um, but I mean I used to use it without a mic and I had no problems so um, we'll see how it goes. I have been AWOL. Um, I haven't been very well at all. Um, I've been um, having a lot of tests done. Um, I was extremely deficient in vitamin D. Uh, the normal range for that is about 600 um, units a day and um, I've been put on 3600 units a day so um, that's for three months and then I'll be put on um, I'm going on a maintenance uh, dosage of a thousand units a day it's just like I say, I don't get out, so, you know, um, but then I did have problems with my thyroid. I mean, I have an underactive thyroid as well, and there's all the other problems that I have that I'm not going to bore you with, because you don't want to hear all about that. Um, but yeah, there was a problem, and um, so there's a bit of concern, because vitamin D and thyroid can be a sign of thyroid cancer so they're just checking it all all areas you know they're checking everything out <coughs> um and then after that i'm gonna have bone scans and things to see why i keep breaking bones and why i keep falling so and why i'm in so much pain all the time so yeah um the you know the wheels are in motion so um hopefully um I'm going to be feeling a lot better. Um, I do feel better since I've been on the vitamin D, which is about uh, maybe 10 days now. Um, so yeah, yeah, I, I do feel um, better. Anyway, off that topic completely. Um, yeah, so thank you to all my new subscribers. It's really, really nice. Um, if you comment, I'll comment back. Um, I really like interacting, that's why I do this. Um, I like to interact with everyone because I don't really see anybody. It's it's my way of speaking to people really. Um, I know it's only a camera but then when I get the comments then I feel like I'm speaking to people and I've met such wonderful people, such wonderful, wonderful people on here. Anyway, right, let's get to it. <laughs> I am so, so late with these boxes. I am so, so sorry. I know you can't buy past boxes of these. I am so sorry. But they do sell um, a certain amount in this store. So if you were to see something that you liked here or on Instagram and I'll get to what it is in a minute, then you can uh, go on this store and buy and maybe you know that would be better for you if you don't really want all of the things that they offer. This is a subscription box um, called Witch Casket. It comes in a very um, plain box and it's not just for witch or Wiccan you know it, it's got lots of things in that are not you know related in any way to Wiccan but you know I liked because I, I was looking for a crystal subscription box and I, and I thought I'd try these so um, without further ado I have what do I have now I have August and September's box and they're shipped on the 15th of each month um, second class um, if you subscribe after the 14th of the month you'll receive the following month's box um, they're a vegan friendly magical monthly subscription box 
um, £27 in the UK without postage. For Europe, the £33 um, with no postage. And for the rest of the world, the £35 with no postage. That's pretty good, isn't it? Um, payments are collected by PayPal on the same time every month. So say now you were to um, subscribe on the 10th of the month, then you, your payment would come out by PayPal on the 10th of each month. So that's quite good really, isn't it? You know, because you can cater that to when you get paid or whatever. So, you know. Right, so I've got two to get through. So I'm going to fly through these because I'm in the middle of editing like a huge video, huge long video on a make that I did and uh, like I thought I've got to just do something else <laughs> other than edit like oh <laughs> so anyway yeah so this is witch casket they're on Instagram they're on Facebook and they all well they have the links on both of those but it is www.witchcasket.com dot co dot uk and that's where you you subscribe um and you can buy things from other boxes providing they're in stock so let's have a look at august's box Ooh. found what i got one of these little things from um what do you call um from amazon you know to block out your address i thought that was really cool you know, because like we shred things, but you know, when you come online and you're like, you're like trying to hide your address, like, <laughs> well, I think everyone's got my address. Right, I'm opening it up. It comes in a box, just a plain box like this. And so I'm going to drop you down now and we're going to have a look into the box. Can you see that? Right, so I'm not going to move too fast because I've got my laptop on here and everything. This is just a put up table because I still haven't done my room. I haven't had the motivation. Right, can you see there? It um, just opens up like that. It's got some green tissue paper. And it then has a contents list. So there's the contents list. Woo. Come on, camera, you can do better than that. So on here it's got um, the list of contents. It says all spells and rituals are created by a practicing witch exclusively for witch casket. Um, it tells you the um, the month suppliers, the blah, 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 yeah, and they're based in Harrogate. So, and then on the back, here's August's witch casket. We could all use some good fortune from time to time, and let's hope that August's good fortune witch casket helps to bring good luck your way. Until next time, be well, Debonella. So uh, the two ladies that make this up are called Deb and Ella. So there we go. So I'll need this to find out what we've got. So first of all, we have a witchcraft pennant. Let me zoom out a little bit so that we can see. Oops. And it says on it witchcraft. It's got a picture of a cauldron, um, broomsticks, um, a chemical bottle, and of course my favourite, a cluster of crystals. So I might put that up in my room. That's that. So I've got that, and then. We have um, a good fortune parchment scroll. 
which I presume is this. Am I better up here? Showing you. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't want to open it. Especially not with that nail because it's ripped across. Oh, it's stuck down tight. And this is uh, Good Fortune, it's, uh, like that, and it says Good Fortune seems to favour some people more than others, but it is possible to turn this around. What we must not do is perform a good luck spell or ritual and then sit around waiting for our luck to change. <laughs> well that's true isn't it? As an example, if you wish to be lucky in work, it would be folly to perform a spell for a new job, quit your existing job and wait for the spell to work its magic. You must be patient and diligent in order for the magic to work in your favour. You have already put your energy and intent and expectations into the universe when you performed your spell or ritual and now you must look out for the signs and omens and opportunities that, re that present themselves to guide you your good fortune. Do not wait on tenter hooks, simply trust. Know that the opportunity to change your fortune will present itself to you at the right time. Luck is cyc cyclic and unpredictable in nature. The wheel of fortune is always turning. Good luck spells can affect the wheel in your favour and allow you to be in the right place at the right time but you must be ready to take notice and take advantage of the good omens and opportunity that are presented. And remember, because the wheel is always turning, one good luck spell will never last a lifetime, so you may have to perform many more such spells and rituals in your lifetime and take advantage of good fortune as it comes your way. And then there is a good fortune ritual kit. Oh, we have the instructions. We have a pencil with magic is the mother of good fortune. It's in very, very tiny green writing, so I'd be very surprised if the camera picks it up. But yeah, it's in very, very tiny writing. So there's a pencil. Green little candle, diddy little candle. No, I've got lots of things in the way for you. There's some herbs. And then there is some little pieces of thin card. You notice they're all in green. That must be the idea of it. Right, so that is my my contents. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't go through the ritual with you because A, I don't think that it's appropriate and B, it wouldn't be fair to the people who sell it. Um, so, yeah. Um, a lucky sixpence with an info card. It's going back some time, isn't it? Uh, the lucky sixpence could bring you extra luck when you need it most. It is tradition for anyone seeking good for fortune to turn over a silver coin in their pocket three times whenever they see the full moon. Also, being without money at the time of the new moon is thought by some to be unlucky, so carry this coin with you to bring only good fortune your way. Oh, that's sweet. That's really nice. So then, um, sorry I'm rushing through this. Uh, oh, this is by Curiology. Um, Curiology is uh, another shop that sells this type of thing on Instagram. Um, if you want to look, 
they sell lots of lovely lovely things curiology uh, uh, lots of really nice things and it's um it's on an extended chain and it's a little cauldron with good fortune on it not that i would wear something like that but i'd hang it up so hang everything up yeah my nail caught in the oh my nail caught in <laughs> the class and then uh, we've got another tarot pin so we've got the sun tarot pin um, if you collect pins my daughter collects um, pins it's in a nice organza bag and I don't know if I can get this. It's like a little um, tarot badge. I pull it away a little bit. Yeah, I think you can see it. Yeah, so that's cute. Um, it goes in a little organza bag. So that's cute. Then, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. then there's some artwork by um, TK Cart and they also are on Instagram probably on Facebook as well although I haven't looked um, but yeah that's, that's lovely the black cat with the three green eyes <laughs> I'll either put that up or I'll put it into one of my books a little something coming up soon so then uh, oh now then we've got something special we've got um an altar cauldron or or burner and it's in a big organza bag wow look at that i don't know whether you'd have to can you see the hanger I'll pop it down on the table and show you and then it's wrapped up in lovely tissue paper. Oh, isn't that lovely? I think probably better if I show you it hung up. So, well, I think it just hangs like that. So, take the card out. I don't think my camera's going to go down any further. No, that's, that's not something that you would necessarily have to have in a cauldron. The tea light in the little recess there. You see that? Recess. And it's sort of like um, got a what's it finish to it? It's like um, it's got like a pearlized finish. Can you see the sort of like pearlized finish? inside as well it's really nice that's lovely I like all kinds of burners so <clears throat> that's great <clears throat> love the house to smell nice especially with my little doggy rose hip tea so we have rose hip tea which I'm not going to wait because it's so uh, it's loose oh go on I will Maybe it'll stick back down. Oh yeah, it will. Oh, it will. This nail rips off now. I'll go nuts. Can you see? Oh. But yeah, it's like a um, little dried doesn't smell of roses. Oh god, I've got that thing was my tie. It doesn't smell of roses for those of you that don't like roses. But anyway, you can't get the kit now anyway, so uh, then that's from Tea Cakes of York and I think they're on Instagram as well. Then there's 
um, Tulsi Basil Incense Combs. So we've got uh, a nice resealable bag again. They're all resealable bags apart from the rose hip. Rose hip would have been nice to have been a resealable bag, but I suppose there's not much of there for a cup of tea. Ooh, these are green. Ooh, they smell nice. So let's see. They're just the green cones. They smell really nice. Different. Hmm. I've not had basil um, tones before. And then last but not least we have a jade. That's good for money, isn't it? Jade tumblestone um with info with an information card yeah jade is uh, good for money so let's see jade is a harmonious and lucky stone believed to bring harmony friendship and luck to its bearers i have the succulent plant the jade succulent plant so yeah i must water it actually <laughs> perhaps that's why <laughs> my funds are low at the minute um said to be good for spiritual physical and emotional well-being as it's thought to help you lead a richer and more fulfilling life so and then you get a card with witch casket on and you get the details of um, it says thank you for supporting we'd love it if you could share the word by sharing pictures and goodies on your social media you can hashtag witch casket so we can see them love and blessings deb and ella and then it's got uh, oh they're on tumblr at witch casket so yeah their um website is www.witchcasket.co.uk instagram at witch casket uk facebook dot com witch casket uk and tumblr at witch casket okay so um i'll um i'll link those we want to get on to the next box quickly because i'm going to do this in two so the next one is again came in black um bag uh comes like that and then oh it smells nice uh so i'm not going to go through it all again um because i've been through it so uh they say that they really enjoy putting it together um, <coughs> um for anybody that does the rituals and things they say that the packaging you know the organza bags that they use are great for charm and spell bags so you know like recycling so that's really good so the first thing is a moon crystal grid <clears throat> i love things like that um on the back it says that uh, the more powerful the news in a single crystal um, crystal grids are made by the intentional placement of stones of grids in a geometrical pattern for the purpose of directing your energy. So it tells you what to do. So obviously I'm not going to go through the, um, the <coughs> how you do it because, say, again, that wouldn't be fair to the people that... Oh, I've got sore elbows. Um, oh, that's too much sitting about, isn't it? Right, so the next thing is a metal moon, a metal moon coaster. And it says on it, stay wild, moon child. Come on, camera. Be good. Can you see it? Yeah, so that'll be going in a craft room. That's really nice. Wipe a bone, what have you. So, um, 
The next thing is the Lunar Energy Charm Bag Kit. Alright, so we've got another charm bag. This one goes a bit see-through. Let's open this. And there's another Ziploc bag, which is good. So in here we have the instructions. Clearly, um, ooh, they have a little silk, little grey silk pouch. Uh, we have some, does it say what they are? Rosemary and mint. pyrite I know that for sure and to do with the moon as well so I hold one up because I don't know if everybody knows what pyrite is I think I've got a big piece somewhere but um, let's see if I can put it up against here So I've got quite a few of those in there, some big ones and then some smaller pieces. I dropped them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them into this uh, silver bag here. Oof, there's an overwhelming smell in there of incense. Oh, dropped a bit. I'll pick it up in a bit. Right, then, um, so what else? Is there anything else in here? No, that's it. So then we have a Moon Phases um, scroll. These are really nice, aren't they? They're nice stickers as well, because they're sort of like, they're not rippy ones. <laughs> and that's the script that you get it's the four major moon phases in magic so yep that's good I gotta say I don't I don't really want to sort of show you in depth because you know um, it's not fair to the people um I keep saying that don't I right so uh, da, 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 a moon tarot enamel pin. Mm -hmm. So we had the sun last time in the last box. So remember these are two different boxes. £27. And that is the moon. Let's see. Bring it away, bring it in a bit, <laughs> have a little play. There we go, so yeah, just a little, um, little badge, uh, obviously collecting them. Uh, then we have a silver heart tea strainer. Oh, I bought some of these um, when Angela um from uh, previously from Luna Lake sent me some tea. I had to buy some of these because I don't drink tea. Um so she'd sent me some herbal tea so I had to buy some from um Amazon. But this is it's in a in an organza bag like that. And then how cute is that? Not that I drink tea but you can put um a, a wood you use herbal tea instead of hanging it of it dangling down and then it just um on clips from the top there's a clip at the top there Ooh. and you've got your yeah. um the holes in it and then you yeah. click it back together She says with no strength. There we go. And as we put your tea in, that's lovely. 
As I did get some from um, Amazon, but still you can never have too many, can you? If someone comes over or whatever. I know I don't, but... Um, right. Then, oh, we've got a glass hanging LED moonlight. It's called Over the Moon. Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to be able to show you because it needs battery. So well packaged. Look, it's some like cellophane. Look, it's sort of like I don't know if you can pick that up. It's like frosted. I put my pillow behind it. It's like frosted. Oh, I don't get any back. I'll put some batteries on and show you in another video and then it's got the batteries that go there and then a hook so you hang it up like that it's quite long actually I mean, if I go that way it's an arm's length easy an arm's length yeah so that's really nice and it's glass, glass, yeah. So that's that's nice. That's uh, that will get used. And then we have da, 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 um, some crested crane loose tea. Um, from Tea Cakes of Yorkshire again. I'm not going to open it because it's just ordinary tea, I think. Um, then we have a grey aventurine tumble stone and information card. So it's quite a big, nice piece. So it says, uh, Grey Aventurine is thought to encourage compassion and aid emotional recovery. It can also help to achieve mental and emotional balance. Oh, and I need that. <laughs> Grey Aventurine helps bring security, mature thinking and wisdom. Oh, that's nice. So, and it's quite a big piece as well. So I've never seen the grey one before. I've seen the green, but I've never seen the grey. So yeah, it's nice. So there we go. I'm sorry I'm rushing through this, but I just want to get a video warp. <laughs> then um yeah, uh oh, we've got the nag champo, you know me and my nag champo. Um, but these ones are the super hit. Can you see that? The super hit. Oh, it smells gorgeous. That's what I could smell in here. Oh, it smells gorgeous. That's nice, isn't it? I've got books that I can stick these in. And they'll look really nice. Um, I'll be bringing you those um, shortly um, when I've got my other one edited and then the last but not least we have some uh, moon and star earrings oh, and a little Lorganza bag and they're all marked so it looks like they're silver they've got stars on them and moons and they're just really really beautiful um i think it was 
was it this box that I got um, the um, Celtic ones from? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but anyway. Then I've just got the card again with the details. So um, remember, you can you can subscribe now. You can subscribe, and then um, you know it, it's not going to be all witchy witchy as you can see. Um, there's tea, and there's all kinds of things. You know, like there, there's not really apart from the ritual. Um, there's nothing. There's nothing witchy. You know, it's um, or Wiccan, I should say. Um, but yeah, um, it's it's really really um, good value for money. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm late with it. As I say, I'll bring it back up. Got a light behind me, which I'm trying to. Yeah, so I'm sorry that I'm late with it, um, but um, you know, health and things. I've not been able to lift my head off the pillow basically. Um, link them down below. Just go over and look at the past boxes. They do show the past boxes. So obviously like you've seen two now. You go back and see past boxes and see like the um, the October and um, the November one won't be out yet. I would email them or message them and see if they do. Um, oh, um, I didn't get a code when I purchased these, so no, I just paid the £27. But um, yeah, um, I'm, I'm really pleased with them. Um, just before I go, because you know how I ramble, um, can I please say that um, thank you to all of my um, lovely subscribers um, and to the new ones. We're now on 108 and we have been for um, probably about going on a week now. But we've definitely been over 100 for a good few weeks. So it's time for me to do my giveaway I think. Um, I hope that you'll understand why I haven't done it before. Oh gosh, Liz, you're so noisy, you're giggling away on the phone. She's always like that on FaceTime all the time. <laughs> right, off topic. Um, so what I think I'll do is I will give, um, because I need a bit of time as well to get everything finished, um, I'll give it, uh, say, a week. So a week today, so what are we today? We're Monday the 5th of November. Oh, happy bonfire night! <laughs> I don't like bonfire nights. I will be drawing the giveaway on Monday the 12th of November. Okay, so I'm not sure what time it'll be. Um, so I would get your entries or, you know, get your... Um, your comments and things in um, are by the Sunday night before um, I'm not going to do it at some mad hour in the night like I normally do <laughs> I will do it at a good reasonable hour probably um, after school hours um, you know when everybody's home from school um, in the evening when everyone's sat down I may even go live <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, so you've got a week now till the twelfth to watch the. It's got to be the hundred hundred subscriber giveaway. Okay, um, that'll tell you what to do on it. That you are, that you comment, that you like. Um, that's not a necessity, but um, the video will tell you what to do. Um, make sure you're subscribed and make sure that your subscriptions are on public so that I can check that you are subscribed. I know that you comment and I know that the majority of my um, subscribers are, um, you know, they've been with me for a long, long time. Um, but, you know, you've got to make sure that they're public, okay? I'm sorry about that. But, you know... To be fair to everybody, it's, it's got to be fair to everybody, okay?
so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, I know it was a bit a bit fast paced well fast paced for me anyway <laughs> um, but yeah um, so I'll um, I'll get going and I shall see you soon hopefully with my edited make which it's taking me more longer to edit than it did to make <laughs> but um, yeah it's um, it's nothing like really really like out there it's nothing special so but I will be making something special soon okay hopefully this week Alright, so stay tuned. Okay, bye for now. Take care. And take care tonight on Bonfire Night. Bye.